Welcome to the Sellernomics Podcast. In today's episode, we'll be featuring one of the many great tools and software available to Amazon sellers to help you grow your FBA business. A special thank you to our sponsor, Gatita, the global leader in FBA auditing and reimbursements. Get $400 in free FBA reimbursements at gatita.com slash sellernomics. Now it's time to show us what you got with your hosts, Rob Stanley and Lisa Kinski. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Show Us What You've Got. My name is Lisa Kinski. I'm joined by my co-host, Rob Stanley. And today we are going to be taking a deep dive into the Smart Scout tool, uh, which is the Amazon Seller's Secret to Success. So very excited to bring on board Zach Edgman with the Smart Scout team. Zach, how are you? I'm great, Lisa. Thank you so much. I'm super stoked to be here and super stoked to uh, kind of showcase the Smart Scout software. I think yeah, everyone very, here is very excited to have you. <laughs> Looking Thank forward you. To, to getting a deep dive of this. Smart Scout, a longtime friend of Gatito. We often have booths next to each other at these shows. Everybody knows Scott Needham and Mike White. So um, this is kind of a long time coming, right? I know you guys have some new exciting things to share with us. So uh, let's just get straight to it then. Show us what you got. Okay, absolutely. So let's kind of dive into it. Um, so before we really kind of get into like the core features of Smart Scout, I really like to showcase, you know, the way our Smart Scout database is broken apart. So the real value that a lot of, you know, professionals in the Amazon space find from Smart Scout is their top to bottom data analysis of the Amazon marketplace. So what that means is we enable you to look at Amazon from a very zoomed out bird's eye perspective and then drill down into that more granular information, right? So we can look at it from a very, again, a root category perspective, drill down into more of a leaf node subcategory, drilling down into that brand seller and that products um, page. Uh, this, this tends to be very, very beneficial. And, you know, this is the approach that Scott Needham has always taken as he has ventured through his uh, Amazon journey. Now, all of that being said, uh, let's kind of start it out from, you know, let's dive into the actual tool itself, right? So Smart Scout, one of the first things I like to take people through is the subcategory tree. Whether you're a brand, whether you're a wholesaler or any other business on Amazon agency, um, you can utilize it from this perspective. Now, throughout today's demo, I'm gonna kind of take the approach of a brand. Uh, we're gonna pretend that our brand is a pre-workout uh, supplement um, company. You know, we can call it Zach's pre-workout. So I'm gonna start out in the powder subcategory. So we'll come right here, type in powders, health and household. So there's about 20,000 subcategories. Uh, pretty sure that it would be pretty simple to find your primary subcategory, right? So scrolling down here, endurance and energy, pre-workout, here we go. So the navigation within Smart Scout is actually, it's pretty, pretty user-friendly, pretty easy to kind of walk through and understand the way you know, the actual web app works. Uh, now we can see that this subcategory powders does about 18.2 million a month in revenue. Uh, we can see the average selling price is about 40 bucks and then average number of sellers, all of these other things available within just our simple dashboard. Now, one of the very first and most valuable metrics that I like to look at is the Amazon revenue share as opposed to seller revenue share, right? So this is Amazon 1P brands. Um, vendor central as opposed to seller 3P brands, uh, seller central. And we can see within this subcategory, uh, 1P brands, they cover about 17% as opposed to the 83%. Now this is very great for, you know, if you're looking to dive into a brand new subcategory or obviously trying to understand what's happening within your main subcategories as well. Um, continuing here, we can also see how it's broken apart by revenue and market share. So Sell you core is the brand that we're really going to be checking out today, but we can see that within this last month, they've actually lost about 6.2% of their market share. I don't know exactly why that is. And, you know, as our journey kind of takes us throughout the day, um, hopefully we can kind of figure that out. We can see that Gorilla Mind is really starting to tear it up, right? They've grown about 6.1% in the last 30 days or last 60 days. Uh, we can see the market share, right? And as well as the monthly revenue estimates. Um, Smart Scout, we've obviously got a lot of uh, very valuable metrics here as well. Um, but for the sake of today's call, let's kind of let's kind of continue along. 
So from a subcategory level, one of the other things that a lot of our clientele and just you know standard Amazon um, professionals like to see is our historical data. So this powder subcategory, right? Um, I really like to kind of tell a story here. So the last 12 months of powders, uh, sports nutrition, we can see what's going on here, right? Revenue uh, obviously spikes around December, and then we have a little bit of a drop here. Um, one of the things and one of the metrics that I like to throw in is number of ASINs and number of brands over time. So, you know, whatever whatever analysis that you want to do with the revenue over time, still phenomenal. But one very unique perspective that we can look at is, of course, these ASINs and the brands over time. Now, this is not the best example, but what you'll see is, you know, when Amazon kind of renegotiates their terms of service, you'll see a large drop in both brands and ASINs over time around this January period. Hasn't really happened here within the sports nutrition and pre-workout, but we can actually see that the number of ASINs and number of brands over time has slowly started to decline, uh, actually kind of rapidly decline in this subcategory. Now, what that means is that this revenue has been reallocated to you know, the other existing, and brand, existing ASINs and brands within this subcategory. So when I'm talking to brands and, you know, they don't really understand, you know, they haven't really changed any of their business procedures, but the revenue might have doubled, right, in the last month. One of the first things I check out is there is, uh, is we look at their primary subcategory and see, you know, the ASINs and brands. And typically what will happen is as competing brands have been, you know, unlisted temporarily, that uh, revenue was reallocated to their brands. And that's kind of what, you know, this view can help us understand and view. Um, we can also see by your brand level as well. Um, Smart Scout's got a very friendly API that, you know, if you're if you're a data lover, you can certainly mash and manipulate this data however you'd like. But we can also see brands over time and see who the uh, dominant leader is. We can also see the most popular search terms or the most popular keywords uh, from a subcategory level. Obviously, pre-workout, and then kind of going down here. Um, but kind of diving into a brand level, let's let's first take a dive into Cellucor. Cellucor does a phenomenal job with their advertisements as well as keyword information. We can see that they do about 4.5 million a month in revenue. Um, average selling price is about 36 bucks, right? And then the Amazon stock rate. Come over here to sellers, we can see very rapidly that Cellucor is actually a vendor central brand, right? A 1P brand. 98.5% um, of their overall brand's revenue is done through Vendor Central. Um, now, if you're a brand, you probably are very familiar with unauthorized sellers. You know, this can be kind of a big issue for uh, people that, you know, don't really understand what's going on. Um, so another really cool, neat uh, perspective here is our sellers tool. We can see how the revenue is broken apart. We can see where the revenue is going. Um, it does look like both Health Powerhouse and Silver Supreme Sales has slowly kind of started to seep into the Cellucor um, brand revenue, which is totally fine. You know, it depends on the inner workings, of course. Now, before I dive into more of their advertising data, let's again check out their overall uh, historical information. So we can see that their number of ASINs over time has actually not really declined, right? Been pretty stagnant. Right now it's set to 12 months, but we do have this out to the last two years. Uh, we can see again those ASINs over time and that revenue over time. It does look like they've taken a bit of a dive, but that's that's totally fine, right? Of course, expected in any industry that you're in. Uh, we can also see the primary subcategories. Scrolling down, we can see the other their primary see, their primary keywords, very similar to that subcategory view, just on a brand level, right? Kind of taking that again top to bottom approach of the Amazon marketplace. Now, the the second thing that I really like to view and another huge use case for Smart Scout that a lot of our current clientele love is our advertising data. So we have both search term data as well as paid advertisements. Now this is our ad spy tool. This is pretty unique. What we do is we scrape the top 200,000 search terms three to five times a day. We aggregate that information to kind of help you, you know, really understand what your competition is doing. Um, we can see here that C4 energy drink Estimated search is about 83,000 uh, 83, searches a week. Estimated cost per click is about 10 bucks. They've, they have about 18 products with advertisements. And then of course we can see how often they're winning the different spots. So what this is, number one spot win rate, that's that top left sponsored product. 
top uh, group win rate. That's that top, you know, three or four sponsored products. And then of course there's the branded and sponsored video rate. Now, one very valuable metric is our ad spend. Now this is first page specifically. This doesn't take into account, you know, second and third page um, ad spend or maybe targeted async campaigns, but it does give us a great quick look and quick insight into uh, how much they are spending on this first page. So Cellucor, owners of C4, we can see that C4 Energy Drink, right, on average they're spending about $163,000 a month um, on this search term. It, it gives us a very phenomenal directional value or a directional understanding of, you know, where their advertisements might be placed. Um, and we can see that uh, once we dive into C4 Energy Drink, we can see the different brands that are advertising as well. Um, we can see that Cellucor is obviously the owner, but Monster, F3 Energy, 5-Hour Energy, all of these different guys are obviously trying to take some of that uh, traffic, right, and bring it to their own brands. Um, we can come back over here and see the different products sponsored as well and who is winning each of these spots. Um, not going to spend too much time here, uh, but you can definitely think of all of the different use cases that your, your personal company can utilize. Um, now, first page keywords as well, from a brand perspective, we can see the search terms, the SMA weekly search volume, the number of ASINs that they actually have advertised, right? Cellucor, for example, has 63 ASINs, but only 47 of those are actually landing on this first page. Um, the first page coverage of Cellucor C4, they're pretty dominant. They have about 97.9% .9 of the uh, first page um, and, you know, a bunch of other valuable metrics. Uh, we can, of course, see this stuff on a more granular product level as well. Uh, SmartScout's got a lot of other very fascinating tools that we keep releasing, we keep uh, expanding and showing you more. One of our most recent tools that kind of goes hand in hand with this, both advertising data as well as keyword data, is our newest tool, Share of Voice. Um, we're always, again, looking to expand our enterprise uh, use cases as well as of our other plans. Um, you know, whatever your business is on Amazon, there's probably somewhat of a use case here for you. But let's kind of navigate over here to share a voice. I've already got it pulled up here. Um, the standard is paddleboard, but to kind of keep in line with the, uh, one second, let's type in pre-workout. But yeah, to kind of keep in line with uh, the theme of today's demo, uh, I'm gonna type in pre-workout, right? We can see here, the different brands that are, are really kind of kicking it in the share of voice. So Cellucor, we were just checking them out. Their share of voice is about 20.2%, uh, up about 2.7% from last week. Now, the way share of voice is advertised is it's 60% organic ranking and 40% paid ranking. So this gives you a very quick understanding of what's happening in your most valuable keywords. We can see that Cellucor has 11 products advertised, um, actually up two products from last week. Uh, right here is pretty interesting. Share of voice paid, right, 26.8%. It's actually down 10% from last week. I don't know why that is, but, you know, uh, another, another great story that we're kind of telling here. Share of voice organic, we can see that it's about 15.8%, which is up 5.2% from last week. And then there's the average price. Uh, this is this is something that's pretty unique. I think a lot of people skip over it, but it gives you a very a very quick insight into you know your competitors' strategies and what their approaches are. So whether they're a you know cost leadership esque brand um, or you know they're looking for more quality over quantity, right? We can really quickly understand that from even a uh, a search term uh, perspective. And of course, the top position, this is their highest achieved product ranking um, based organically. And we can filter by any of these. That's one of the coolest things with Smart Scout is this black bar up top is fully filterable. So whether you're looking at it from brand level, you're looking at share of voice, you're looking at it from a subcategory level, we can filter this anytime. Um, now, that was a very, very quick overview of Smart Scout. There's, there's a lot of very granular information that we have here. I didn't even touch on the product level information. Um, but I really just wanted to give you a very quick recap that you can kind of go through, understand the different tools and the different use cases that SmartScout has. Um, 
you know, we've got we've got a phenomenal demo team here that if you are interested in learning more, uh, every single company has different use cases and we're all very trained up on, you know, explaining how these different data points can really be implemented into your personal brands and your company's uh, strategies. Now, um, Rob and Lisa, I think that's really what I wanted to highlight throughout the demo today. Awesome. Um, really just kind of explaining that top to bottom approach of the Amazon marketplace. Sure. I think at its core, that's what Smart Scout is. Uh, there's yeah. there's a lot more that you can do with it, but yeah. again, at its core, that's kind of the primary use cases that our clientele, you know, utilize us from a very basic, basic perspective. Yeah, um, sounds Zach, good. Just to explain to everybody, it. I mean, you showed us a lot of information, great information that can be useful. Do you see Smart Scouts being used a lot more for somebody who's maybe looking to launch a new brand or they're brand new to Amazon and looking for a brand to launch? Or is it more existing Amazon sellers looking for ways to kind of get ahead with like some of the keywords and things like that or all the above? Yeah, that's a phenomenal question. Um, I would say it's much more geared towards all of the above um, just because it is kind of static data that we have of the overall Amazon marketplace. Really anybody from, of course, kind of the guys that are just barely looking to, you know, kickstart on the Amazon space all the way up to the Goliaths, right? That are doing a few million dollars a month in revenue. Um, because again, it is just so many different data points. Almost anybody can utilize us. Uh, and, you know, we've got lots of trainings available for that, uh, for the different uh, tiers that you are, or, you know, the different stages that you are in the Amazon space. But yeah, certainly. I, me personally, I, I more talk to people that have been, you know, a little bit more tenure in the Amazon space, but yeah. Anybody from, again, the beginners all the way to the professionals in the space, anybody can use us. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. And, and like you said, we just did a really high level overview. You guys, there were 10 tools there listed, if you noted, and key tools. And there are so many other incredible features that Smart Scout has. So definitely be sure to check it out. Zach, let them know where they can learn more info or reach out to you if they have any questions. Yeah, absolutely. So you can either go to smartscout.com. Uh, that's going to be our standard marketing landing page that you can go to, get all the information there. Or you can actually email me directly, zach at smartscout.com, um, Z-A-C-K at smartscout.com. I'm always here to help out. Uh, that's kind of my main job is to walk anybody, you know, whatever, whatever position you are in the Amazon space, walk you through start to finish. You know, this is the best way to implement Smart Scout into your current business strategies. So both very great resources. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty responsive with my email. Always happy to help out. So perfect. Fantastic. Again, you guys, smartscout.com, Zach, Z-A-C-K, like that you pointed that out. That's yeah. smartscout.com on the uh, on the screen there for y'all and will be in the description as well. Zach, thank you so much. I mean, like I said, you guys have an incredibly powerful tool. I, you know, I think we'd have to make it like a four part series or an hour long episode to go into everything. But, but like you yeah. said, it's a really robust tool with a lot of functionality that's going to have different use case per business that walks in the door, stage of business type of category they're in, goals, things like that. So this is really a good one, you guys, to reach out to and get more information from the team directly and set up a demo so that they can customize the tool's usage for your business. But Zach, Zach, thank you so much for this overview absolutely. today. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for hosting me. Uh, yeah, this was kind of just the tip of the iceberg with Smart Scout, but yeah, certainly great value that you know we have available for anybody. Absolutely agree. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for everybody who tuned in today. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the show, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for joining us this week on the Sellernomics Podcast. Special thanks to our sponsor, Gatita. Did you know that Amazon probably owes you money for FBA reimbursements? Get $400 in free FBA reimbursements at gatita.com slash Sellernomics. Be sure to join us again next week for more great tips on how to grow your business. And thanks again for listening.